Hey, it's Ben from Digital Mastery, and I want to share with you a tip today about how to change the color of objects that are black. Now, if you have something that's already in color, it's red, it's yellow, it's blue, it's easy to shift the color. You just apply hue and saturation adjustment, and you can move the hue slider and make it any color you want, as long as you've already made a selection. But what about black objects? With a black object, if you go into the controls you'd usually use for shifting the color of things, it's just not going to work. So here is a quick tip for how to change the color of something that's black to any color you want. I've done just a little bit of work ahead of time, which is I made a selection of the black object that I want to change the color of. Then here in my layers panel, I'm going to create a brand new adjustment layer, and I'm going to use curves. In end curves, if you change the main curve, you're only going to be changing the brightness of the image. In order to change the color, you need to choose one of these choices. If I choose red, I'm going to make her outfit look more red. If I choose green, we're going to get more green. And if we get blue, we get more blue. I can also combine those, working on more than one of these to get a color in between. So let's see how it works. I'm going to choose red. And the key is to not touch the dots here that are on the ends of this curve. And instead, come up here, there's a little hand icon, click on it to make sure its background is dark, and then move your mouse on top of the image, and don't click on a dark area. Instead, click on a brightish area within your black object, wherever it's starting to get closer to the highlights of the image. Click there and then drag straight up. And I'm going to start making her look more red in this case. And then I can also switch to another of these colors. Let's say I go to blue and I also click on an area that's relatively bright and I start dragging it up. Then I can shift it, adding a little bit more blue to it. If when you do this, you find that the dark portions of the image are getting to have too much color. What that means is the part of the curve that is closest to the lower left corner is deviating too far away from where it started. So you could add an additional point somewhere near that lower left corner and then pull it down so you're a little bit closer to where you started. The diagonal line is where you started. And I do that with any of these curves that I adjusted. I'll add a dot about here and get it closer to the original. Now by doing that, now we're going to have a lot less color in the dark portion of this object. It's a personal choice. It depends on the object itself if it would be good to have less color in the dark area or not. And I could back off on it as well after I've adjusted both of them. Now when you're doing this, you don't want to adjust all three of those curves. You only want to adjust one or two of them. If you adjust all three, then you're going to be changing the brightness of the object and not shifting the color so much. An equal change to all three of these only is going to brighten. Also, you're not limited to going towards red, green, and blue. What if I wanted to make something yellow? I don't see yellow in the list. Well, for that, go to the window menu and open the info panel. Because in the info panel, you'll find those same three colors, red, green, and blue, here represented with letters. And across from it, you're going to see the opposite of those three colors, which is cyan, magenta, and yellow. If I want to make something yellow, how can I do it? Well, yellow means the opposite of blue. These are opposites of each other. And so in order to get something to be yellow, when we're working with sliders called red, green, and blue, what it means is make an equal change to the two colors that are not across from yellow. So if this is the color I'm looking for, go straight across from it and say, leave that color alone. Instead, adjust these two an equal amount. And by doing so, you're going to get to yellow. If I wanted to get to cyan, go straight across, leave that color alone, and instead, adjust these bottom two colors in equal amount. And same with magenta, just go straight across and don't touch green. Instead, increase red and blue. So let's see if I can get this to be yellow. Remember, to get yellow, I'm going to do everything except for blue. So I can come in here, and there's this little U-turn symbol here. That means reset, and that's going to get me back to where I started. And if I want to adjust everything except for blue, I'll start with red here. I'll click on that brighter area of the black object, drag straight up, 
and then I'll remember approximately how far up I brought it. Remember, I'm a little bit below this horizontal line. Then I'll go to the next one, and I'm going to try to make a similar adjustment, clicking again on the bright area and bringing it up approximately the same amount. Although it's not always exactly the same that I need, so sometimes I'll have to go back to the other one and fine-tune it. But by fine-tuning, you should be able to get close to the color you're looking for. Then once you get anywhere in the ballpark, then get away from curves because that's not the best way to visualize color. So on top of this adjustment, create a brand new adjustment layer. And this one, call it hue and saturation. And before you start messing with the sliders that are here, click on this icon, the far left one. That means use the same mask that is on the layer below. And therefore, this adjustment can only affect that area that the adjustment below is working on. And now you can move the hue slider to pick any color you want for her pants. And if it's too uh, colorful, just grab saturation and lower it. Or if it's not colorful enough, increase it. And so it's only the initial introduction of color that we need curves for. And after that, I find it to be much easier to work with hue and saturation instead. And that's how you can add color to a black object in Photoshop. For more of my teaching, check out mastersacademy.com. I'll see you next time.